And now we continue with um, uh, Eila Ratasvori. Welcome from uh, Executive Advisor at the City of Helsinki. And her presentation is titled Openness in Finnish Local Government Case, City of Helsinki. Please welcome. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sorry I apologize for this uh, short break. I had made this. <laughs> Uh, transfers earlier, but they had to shut it down. So, but let's go on. Uh, uh, I would like to, uh, we have been uh, speaking about the future and, and uh, a lot of uh, things um, concerning digitalization and, and data processing uh, in the future and in today in digital form. But I would like to point one person in the history who is the father of the transparency in the whole world, under Studenius, a Finnish clergyman, uh, a priest, who uh, 250 years ago, sorry, this is a little bit inconvenient, 250 years ago, he was speaking about the speech of free, um, the, the freedom of, of speech the freedom of press, um, among very many other things, like uh, freedom of uh, immigration, freedom of, uh, uh, of uh, economical matters, liberalization. But he was the one. So 250 years ago, we started with an act which also stated that we will have to uh, tell to everybody, to the citizens, uh, what kind of legislation that was given in the state uh, or by the king of Sweden. And so he started the idea, so don't be afraid if you're not ready to have the kind of transparency that we have in Finland. It gets time to get used to it. Uh, but for us, it is a way of living, and especially for the city of Helsinki, it is, uh, it is an ultimate demand, the transparency. It has always been with our mayors, with uh, the city council and so on. Uh, the city of Helsinki uh, is the capital of, Hel of uh, Finland, of course, and has approximately 600,000 inhabitants now, but the whole area, Helsinki area, metropolitan area, has approximately 1.2 million inhabitants. And um, we have um, approximately uh, 20,000 matters which rise or are brought to us each year, and approximately 100,000 decisions made in those 20,000 matters. So we are producing almost all the services as a municipality, uh, as in Finland, the municipalities produce all the services, uh, like healthcare, social welfare, education, the schools up to high school, uh, uh, cultural events, libraries, uh, city planning, streets, uh, parks, everything like that. So, actually, um, the public tra transportation. So, actually, it is the municipalities which are very important to have the, the transparency. And what does it lead to uh, is, uh, what you can see here, is the corruption, transparency, international corruption uh, map. And here you can see that there are few, very little, corrupt, um, having um, states having very little corruption. Uh, that is one very important thing in the uh, transparency, that it is not possible to have corruption. Of course, you will, if we had zero things, then you wouldn't believe it's true. Then there would be corruption in the 
in the court or, or police system. But there are, of course, always some people who don't believe that this is the truth. You cannot take any money. Uh, that, that is very important also to the businesses, to the, uh, because you know what you pay for. When you wish to have a permission, for instance, to build a thing, a, a building, you know what it costs because it is stated in the internet, in, in, in our web pages. You cannot pay any more to get it faster or to get a bigger thing. It just has to be according to the regulations. And that is something very important. Uh, also, it is important in the ranking of the um, press freedom, where you can see Finland here. Uh, we used to be the top one, but now there was an incident uh, which led to fall to the fourth place. Okay, so um, we used to have a system with the papers going on with to the media and to the city councillors and to the elected officials in, in boards and so on. We used to have uh, 30 registration offices because we had 30 departments, each had its own. How are you supposed to have uh, transparency or openness in this kind of thing? So uh, 12 years ago, we started a, a procedure to make it more open, more transparent to the people, and in, inside also the city uh, administration. And 2011, we, we adopted a, a digital system for our decision-making and document recording uh, so that we have only one registrator's office. You can uh, uh, give your documents if you want to have them in, in printed there seven days a week because the city hall is open every day. Uh, but you can also um, get your matter handled by sending it by email or, or our digital systems. But the point is that the whole thing will be in digital form from the beginning, from the registration till the decision making and even after that uh, when sending the decision to you. And this means that in the olden times the mayor couldn't see what's going on in this 30 to the department because their registrations were separate. They were handling matters there and if they were not coming to the uh, city council or the city board, uh, the decisions were made there quite so uh, uh, on their own. But nowadays, since we have this one system and the mayor or the deputy mayors or whoever of those 4,000 people who who have access to that, can see what is going on it, from the first day that the, the matter is registered, from the first uh, letter or application or initiative, uh, they can see it easily on their laptop. So it has made a, a really exchange in the transparency in the administration, not only in the uh, the outdoors administration. But I would like to show you about this system um, short VCR. Okay. In 2011, the city of Helsinki standardized the whole decision-making process and implemented an integrated information system, AHJO. In this system, all cases proceed electrically after being registered, also including decision-making. Today, AHJO is being used by some 700 elected officials and four to 5,000 city employees, the top management included. Enhancing transparency in the administration, ecology and the elimination of redundant work in the various phases of the process were the premises of the AHJO project. Mrs. Eila Rataswori, Administrative Director, now tells about the advantages achieved through AHJO 
from the angle of the residents, city management and elected officials as follows. Mrs. Rataswari, how do the residents and the media benefit from Ahjo? Well, the most apparent circumstance benefiting the residents is undoubtedly the centralization of the registry functions at City Hall. Now the residents have one place where they can obtain information on all pending public issues and their processing stages. Furthermore, the initiation of issues has become easier, for the City Hall is open seven days a week. The Central Registry naturally makes access to information easier for the media and increases transparency. This is one of the ways to prevent corruption. Helsinki residents have naturally also interested uh, in the state of our environment. Ahio enhances environment friendliness for it also cuts down paper consumption considerably and makes the delivery of documents all over the city unnecessary. Another significant saving is achieved by no longer making millions of paper copies per year. How does the city management exploit Ahjo? At present the city management can obtain information on any pending is public issue at their own workstation. This greatly facilitates the control of the preparation process and cuts back unnecessary. The top management can also explore the details without delay, should an issue feature in the media. Consequently, the media receive better informed answers to their questions than never before. What about city councillors and other elected officials? How does Ahjo benefit them? Now that documents are no longer delivered and other administrative activities require less time, the council agendas are available to the councillors one day earlier than before. Also, the counter propositions are available even before the council meetings because they will be published directly in the system. Hence, the councillors better possibilities to prepare themselves for the meeting and study the issues more in detail. Many practical matters have become easier along with the new electric meeting system. For instance, the councillors and other elected officials no longer need to worry about destroying documents deemed classified by law, for such documents automatically disappear from the system. Furthermore, the councillors and other elected officials are no longer responsible for keeping classified documents safe, because access to the system can be gained with their guards and pin codes only. The city of Helsinki is bilingual, and the meetings are conducted in Finnish and in Swedish. The electric meeting system facilitates the translation of counter proposals and thus the councillors obtain the counter-proposals without delay in the system in their own language. Moreover, each councillor can change the language of the system at their own desk. Thanks to the Ahjo project and the new system, the city of Helsinki is now more transparent, more efficient and greener than ever before. That is a benefit to us all. Okay, so what does this um, new system mean, or not new, seven years old? It means that uh, we have all the uh, proposals before the meetings of the city council or the city government or any board uh, in the internet um, almost a week before the meeting. So the citizens can read them, give their opinion to the city councillors or the members of the certain decision-making organ. And then you can see also the um, minutes of the meeting, of the, the, the decisions. Uh, each of them uh, can be seen in the internet. The results of the dis uh, decision-making uh, is usually there appro approximately uh, 
to three minutes after the meeting. But of course the minute takes a little bit longer, not too much. It used to be that we made, um, in the olden times, we, we were writing the minutes after this um, city council meeting for a day. Now it takes half an hour or so because everything comes from the system, all the votings and things. So here you can see in each minutes you have the participants so that if some of them would have some, something to do with the matters that there are handled or with the person connected to the matters that are handled, they would have to withdraw themselves from the meeting and from the decision making. And it is easy for uh, citizens who can appeal on any pending matter, any decision of the city uh, council or, or, or city office holder, they can easily uh, see if there is a connection with the decision maker and the person uh, uh, involving with the matter. Also, there is always uh, the decision, the handling of the matter, uh, there are mem uh, who is presenting the case, who has been preparing it, and then um, instructions for appealing the matter. And then the decision, uh, the, the, the pr proposal and the grounds. So this can be seen there. But then also for the... Uh, for the uh, city council, you have also nowadays the uh, recordings of the city council meeting. So you don't have to be present, it is open to go there, but you don't have to be present uh, if you don't wish to be present. Um, I do hope this works. It doesn't actually seem like it would work. <laughs> so anyway, somehow the internet doesn't seem to get uh, let's start again uh, sorry anyway the recordings are there and then uh, you can you don't have to uh, sit down for two or three hours to listen to the recordings but you can also see, uh, for instance, um, uh, who, who was speaking there, and you can just press the button, and if it would work here, <laughs> I think that the internet is, is not very good here. So uh, you, could, you could see the person that you have. This is the matter I want to see, I, I, I'm interested in. These are the speakers. I can just push here the person and it comes to see what she or he is speaking of. And then you can also see how they voted. So uh, actually you have a map, greens are four, the reds are opposed and the, the blue ones don't want to express their opinion. So and you can see its name of the 85 city councillors. So it is very transparent. You can see how they voted, what kind of matters did they handle, and just to see the, the interesting things that you wanted to see. And even when uh, going to see the, uh, if you wish to see a certain councillor, uh, what does the councillor think of or, or what has been he'd been doing. Uh, so you can go to the pages, web pages of the city councillor. Uh, the members of the city board or the other boards, they don't have their own uh, sites here. But city councillors do have all those 85. And you can see the picture, you can see the liabilities of the person uh, in what kind of companies, in boards, in, in foundations they might be working or be in the, in the uh, uh, administration. 
and then you would see that, okay, that's, that person cannot, for instance, the port of Helsinki, uh, that person is not allowed to uh, be present when something concerning the port of Helsinki is handled in the city council or other. So, uh, and the, here, he says, she says that she has an apartment, a flat, uh, she owns, which is not used by her own family, but uh, for for um, giving rent. Uh, and then um, there are okay. It is possible to see also. Just a moment. Um, for this, um, it is also possible to see the the uh, okay. Did we have all of Biden? So uh, you can also see from here in which cases she has made a speech in the in the city council meeting, and you can just tap here and it goes to the recording and you can see what she has been saying. Or then, um, oh, sorry, mm -hmm. then uh, you can go to see what kind of initiatives she has made or, or um, what kind of counter-proposals she has made. Um, so if, if she has been active or not. So everything can be seen here. And that is the point, to be open, because we are voting for those city councillors every four years. So it is their job to do everything as they, as they have said. And you can follow a certain person, a certain city councillor. How, how is he or she reacting how is he speaking? What is he thinking? What, how is he voting? Uh, but not only the uh, minutes of the city council or the city board or any board uh, are uh, here in the internet, but also of the civil servants who have, or elected officials who have authority to make decisions. Everything can be seen here. And this is because of the new systems which produce things so that they can easily be accessible, even as open data, so that you can, you can use it in the media for, uh, for instance, um, the media has um, made a research of how many proposals of the mayor has passed in the city government. Uh, as he proposed them, and how many percentages were changed uh, by the city government. So this kind of things, it's easy to do when you have the, everything as open data there. Um, and this is very important for us in the city of Helsinki. That therefore, we encourage people to participate in the decision-making process uh, not only by by looking what's going on and maybe calling their own city councillors or members of, of some other boards, but also uh, we have a feedback system where you don't ha have to know who is handling the matter, but you can give feedback or ask things uh, which uh, you can you wish to have answers for, and you just write it. You take a picture, a fallen tree. Uh, take a picture, put it on the, on, on the feedback system, and then you will get an answer. It will be handled as promised in, week, in one week's time. Usually, it takes only one or two days to get an answer for that. Uh, transparency, ultimate transparency, is very important to us in the city of Helsinki, and we, we believe that it... Uh, 
it makes the administration more efficient. We get good ideas from the citizens. Uh, and uh, also, it diminishes corruption or it prevents it actually. And therefore, therefore we are very proud of this. And this is the kind of system I, though we have had it for the seven years, past seven years, um, I was presenting, presenting it to the city board of Tallinn city this year because they are just trying to catch it. So there are a few things we are uh, we have been doing beforehand. Thank you. Thank you.